I get my pedicure once a month because I get gel polish. I get my nails done about every other week, but my pedicure just once a month. In the spring and summer months, when I'm wearing sandals a lot, I may get it done more frequently, but only when needed. For the most part, once a month is my regular schedule. Here are a few tips of what I do to stretch out the beauty of my pedicure between sessions. So let's talk about it. This may seem a little out of order for you, but the first thing that I do is a foot soak. The first thing that I do while my feet are dry is use my electronic callus remover. The one that I use is Prytec Electric Callus Remover. I'll link it below. I've had it for more than a year and I find that it works best on dry feet. You can smooth any calluses that have come up between your pedicures and retain nice smooth feet. Now it's time to soak your feet. This will help with additional softness and treatment of your feet and legs. You can use a regular plastic foot tub or you can go for an electronic one with jets. You can add any additives you want for your foot treatment. You can use your favorite body wash or fragrance to wash to enjoy a beautiful smell as you soak your feet. Or you can use some homemade remedies based on what your feet need. Don't be afraid to add coconut milk and oils and Epsom salts. Um, think about it this way. Whatever it is that your feet need, you can add to the water. If your feet are sore, you might try to blend Epsom salt with your choice of peppermint, lavender, or rosemary oil and then add a carrier oil to bring it all together. You can even add fragrance to this, rose petals, uh, things like that so that you get a nice smell while softening and healing your sore feet. This will leave your sore feet feeling relieved, especially after you've had a long day of wearing shoes that hurt your feet, um, like heels, or a lot of walking. If you need further exfoliation on your feet, a good combo is freshly sliced lemons, apple cider vinegar, and Epsom salt. This will help buff your feet to total smoothness, and it will relieve your feet of all of the dry, dead skin. If you're swollen and circulation is your issue, try blending freshly grated ginger, lemon and sage essential oils, and a carrier oil. When this comes together, it really helps to relieve those swollen ankles and swollen feet. There are so many combos that you can create based on the needs of your feet. So let this be your time. I know I use this time as wonderful me time to sit back, relax, meditate, think, close my eyes, and I let the foot tub do its job. Dr. Teals also has some great items for this next step, and that is scrubbing your feet. And I will link some of these things down below. The last thing you do when you're in the water is to give your feet a little scrub. This will further soften and exfoliate those tootsies. So as you treat your legs, add your favorite leg mask. I'm going to include some really good leg masks below. If you're so inclined, you can do the hot towel trick that they do at the nail salon where they wrap around your entire, uh, the bottom part of your leg, they wrap a hot towel around that after putting on the leg mask. So if you have a towel warmer, this really works the best for this. But otherwise, you can take your hand towels and you can put them in water as hot as you can stand it and wring them as much as you can because you don't want them dripping wet. 
you put those wrap those hot towels around your legs while the mask is still on and lay back and enjoy that sis it's a wonderful wonderful feeling and it just helps that mask to penetrate you can create your own mask you can use oils of your choice this also works very well for hydration of your legs and it just penetrates into your legs feel free to add a fragrance oil even that would make the uh all of this even better um, as you're laying there and enjoying that fragrance as it's warming up to the heat of the towels oh just wonderful and when you're ready go ahead and dry off and then i would again add your favorite lotion add your favorite oil to both your legs and your feet Another thing that you can incorporate here, and I'll leave some of these down below, is a little foot mask at the same time. Um, there are foot masks, they come in singular packages, much like the uh, sheet mask come. Um, you can find them in Target, Walmart, and places like that, Ulta, Sephora, where there are actual foot masks, also Amazon, I'll leave a few down below. Um, where you can put those around your feet and it moisturizes and hydrates your feet um, almost like a paraffin dip um, if you will so I'll leave a few of those down below and it's a good thing to add to this whole treatment I also did a video uh, uh, last week that was about scent combos that you can try to smell like candy so you can use a few of those products as well if you're so inclined after all of that is done, I'll take an emery board to straighten out my toenails if needed. And I try not to disturb the gel polish because, you know, your toes just stay looking fresh. And that will just give you a more refined look. And finally, 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 but importantly, I use a little cuticle oil to revive those dry and ashy cuticles. I really like the Cuccio Natural personally. I love that brand. They have a few different uh, types of fragrance, uh, but I definitely love the original. And I'll link a few of those down below as well. But that combo will have your pedicure looking virtually brand new. And I wanna hear if you have items that you try to stretch out your pedicures. Let me know how this turned out for you and if you tried any of these things and if you have additional tips for me that I can try. Um, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share with a friend. Thanks for watching.